Hello 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 everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to configure a TP-Link Tape OLED strip with our phone. We can scan this QR code to download it on both Android and iPhone or also search for it in each of the application stores by entering the link Tapo. Inside the box we will find everything necessary to install the LED strip. On the one hand we have the LED strip here rolled up. We also have the mains adapter, which we will have to connect to the light to make the LED strip work, along with the driver and the button that we will use to start the strip. Finally, we also have a quick start guide and two 3M stickers which go here on the back of the driver and which help us to stick it wherever we want when assembling. The process is very simple, the first thing we have to do is connect the mains adapter to the electrical current to any socket and then we will have to connect this tip here in this area of the driver, and once we have this connected, we must connect the driver to the LED strip. In this case, what we are going to do is unroll the LED strip a little to give ourselves room for maneuver and, super important, what we have to do is join the two arrows, both this one here on the driver and the one on the LED strip. As you can see, the driver has the arrow on one side but does not have it on the other side, which is why it is super important that we position it correctly. Once we see that both arrows match, we simply face them very carefully and as you can see directly, the LED strip turns on. Now once we have the LED strip fully connected, as you can see with the driver button we can both turn off the strip and turn it on with another press. Before continuing with the configuration of the mobile application, let me tell you, in case you don't know, that when placing the LED strip on the back it has a sticker, so we can put it on without any problem. And now, let's configure it with the Tapo application, which, as I told you before, you should already have it downloaded. Once we open it, the first thing it tells us is that it wants to be able to search for devices on our local network and connect to them. So we are going to click allow. As for notifications, it is a bit up to you, in this case I am going to set it to not send me notifications. As you can see, it tells us that local network permissions are needed, we have already given them. Now we accept the conditions and click on continue. Now to continue, it gives us two options. The first would be to create a new account in case you have never used a Tapo product and the second, log in in case you already have other Tapo TP link products. In this case I will go to create a new account. Once you have registered or logged in with your account, you will reach the main screen of the application. From here we are now going to add the LED strip. To do this, we go to the upper right corner, click on the plus button and where it says add device. On the next screen we have to look for our device. To do this we are going to go to lights and as you can see inside lights after all the bulbs three types of LED strip appear, you will have to see what type or what model of LED strip is the that you have, in my case as you can see it is the Tapo L900. So we go back to the application and click on the Tapo L900. In the next step, the application emphasizes what I told you before, that both arrows see each other, that is, that they are facing each other. Since we already have it like this, we click on next. Now as you can see, it tells us that the lights should be flashing orange and green, so as you can see that it is correct, we click here. Now it asks us for permission for the location. We are going to allow it only when using the application and the next thing will be to connect to the Wi-Fi network that the LED strip has generated. To do this, we go to the Wi-Fi network section of our mobile phone, Open the Wi-Fi settings and look for the Wi-Fi network that the LED strip has generated. Now as you will see here, Tapo light strip appears, we click on it and we connect to that network, once we are fully connected to it we can return. Don't worry if it says there is no internet connection because it is normal, it is just to do the strip connection. Once you have it like this, you return to the application and as you can see, it alone has detected that we have already connected via Wi-Fi and has made the configuration. Now something similar to what happened to me could happen to you and that is that the Wi-Fi network to which I was connected is 5 GHz and the LED strip is only compatible with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks, so what you have what to do is click on Rescan and in the new search, you must select your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, in this case mine is 2.4 GHz, this is the first one. Yes we are going to connect to it, we enter the password and once the we have set we give it to next. As you can see, once we click on next, 
the application begins to configure, pairing the Tapo device and after a few seconds, in the next step it will ask us to name the device, in this case we are going to name it LED Strip, click on Next. The location in this case right here, we don't want much history either, icon, well, the LED strip icon, now we check firmware, we update the super important firmware, and after a few seconds, we already have everything perfectly updated. Now if we want to configure it, we are simply going to click on it and as you can see inside we already have all the settings. From here we can customize the color that we want among the entire RGB range, we can also have pre-configured colors above the already typical colors, we can also modify the brightness of the LED strip so that it looks more or less bright, or we can even also synchronize it with sound, put it in away mode, program it, as well as give us how much energy use the strip is having and how many hours it has been on. Well guys, this is where the video ends, I hope it has been able to help you configure your Tapo LED strip, if so, don't forget to leave me a good like, which is super important as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to avoid you miss nothing, for my part nothing more, as always, a pleasure and until the next video.